We're going to demonstrate a troubleshooting issue on a gate opener and how to diagnose it properly. We're going to trigger this gate opener to open. And those both operators are actually going open. Now keep in mind this issue could happen in the open or closed position and you'll see the issue here in a second. Okay, they both stopped on the limit switches in the open position. We're going to now trigger it to go closed. We saw a CL and then it didn't move. Press it again. Now nothing happens. We'll wait. Notice the board is asleep. We're going to try it one more time. It says CL and again does not move. First thing we're going to do is set it to be a single gate operator. We're going to take one of the gate operators out of this equation. So I'm going to flip the center dip switch down. This will make it so only the motor that is wired into motor one and limit one is going to be active. I try to close it again. Nothing happens, it just has the dots. Notice it didn't have the CL this time. That's a good indication that one arm is going to be good because it tried to move the arm that was good. So most likely it's the arm that is in motor one, limit one that is not good. We're going to confirm this. We're going to take the motors and swap them. Insert the wires that were in motor two into the motor one terminals. And make sure to take your limit block that pairs up with those wires. You can now move the motor one wires, the previous motor one wires and previous limit one wires out of the way. And insert this in limit one. Now the operator it used to have in motor two, limit two is in motor one, limit one. It's still set to single. Let's try running it now. Now the gate opener is going closed. What have we determined here? We've determined that one operator arm has a limit switch issue that won't allow it to go closed. This is preventing them both from going closed. That's why it's important to run them one at a time to see if one arm is causing the issue with both of them. The limit switch that is in question in this scenario is this limit because we couldn't get it to extend out. If we couldn't get it to retract in, it would be this limit switch or get it replaced under warranty if it's still under warranty.